parents can actually feel like they're being looked through a microscope sometimes when children are possibly being assessed. A lot of parents may actually feel fear for speaking up and I know that I'm not the only parent that may feel that way. I think it's really important for parents to, to understand that how proud we are that they are helping their child. We can only have these difficult conversations by firstly building that relationship. As a health professional we're never divulging our entire past to our clients but you're naturally giving a bit of yourself to build that relationship. But it's being a person who they can Mm -hmm. turn to Mm -hmm. and who they can have those open conversations with and not feel judged and not feel like if I say this I'm going to be looked at as a bad parent. Nobody's immune to mental mm. health difficulties. You know, yeah. It affects everybody, anybody. Oh. I would say that the strongest yeah. indicator of poor mental health is socioeconomic factors. Yeah. Poverty is, is mm-hmm. it impacts. You think it just impacts the, the little things that you really think about, like food, um, heating, but it impacts the social development yeah. because it does isolate them significantly from that opportunities in their community and within school. Whenever we ask parents how they're doing, it's not to judge them or it's basically we want mm-hmm. to know what's going on so we can support them. So I'm doing a lot of work with PEEP at the moment, which is a parenting programme, and that really builds on parents' relationships with their children. I think there's a lot of stigma against Mm -hmm. mental health and having a label or a diagnosis, but it's nothing to be ashamed of or Mm -hmm. to be afraid of. We're not there to judge people or their children. People need to come together and, you know, to, to, to remember that we do have that power and to not feel abandoned because no matter what, we have each other.